space, a hurricane in the making, is a pinwheel of fantasy, a spiraling wonder made of puffs and gauze. For the hurricane hunters, it is not fantasy, but hard and punishing reality, and a job to be done. Crew from pilot, we are starting our penetration run. Hot spot on. Engineer, maintain my airspeed at 190 knots. Aye, sir. Go ahead, Nico. Uh, Nico, Roger. Uh, this is the penetration heading. Aye, it's dead ahead. 18 miles. Your escape heading is remaining 300. Inside the whirling vortex lies a calm that is almost otherworldly. Yet it is here, in a sense, that the storm cooks. Fed by the rising, moisture-laden air and given spin by the rotation of the Earth, it creates its own momentum, generating the winds that become its motive force. August 1969. The third hurricane of the season is spotted, tracked, and measured. She is named Camille, but she will bear little resemblance to that pale and sickly lady of the flowers. The storm crosses the Yucatan Peninsula and then stops. For two days, she lingers over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane warnings go up along the Florida Panhandle. High winds and flood tides affect the whole coast. People here are used to hurricanes. It's part of the accepted price for living in paradise. Mississippi and Louisiana coastline. New warnings flash up. Most people take heed. Over 100,000 pick up and get out, heading north. Some don't. The surf has never been so up, and there isn't a lifeguard in sight. There is a tradition in these parts where almost any occasion is an acceptable excuse for a celebration. People gather in motels along the shore and hold hurricane parties. By mid-afternoon, advance winds have already driven the water well above the high tide mark. Forecasters are astonished by the readings they are getting. Reports of Camille's approach take on new urgency. Mississippi and Louisiana shore has had little time to prepare. With the eye of the hurricane still out to sea, reports come in that her winds are reaching over 200 miles an hour, the highest ever recorded. Now weathermen begin to worry about what kind of water those winds are pushing. By early evening, it is apparent that Camille will hurt.
courses to flow back upon themselves. Levees crumble, whole towns are blown down and washed away. Utility poles snap and wires burst. The stretch of coast between Gulfport and Biloxi, called by some the Riviera of the South, is underwater. reaches inland, dumping more water on an already drenched landscape, ripping up live oak trees that had withstood every other storm for over a century. There seems to be no limit to her fury. reveals a battered wasteland. Camille is the worst storm of any kind to hit the United States in a hundred years of keeping records. She roars north over Tennessee, then crosses the Blue Ridge Mountains. Finally, she moves back into the Atlantic where she subsides in trailing winds and sprinkles. Some 400 people are dead. Over 400,000 are homeless. Property damage is estimated at a billion dollars. Along the Gulf Coast, the survivors began a reckoning. Five couples had a, a hurricane party, and uh, some of our, some of the friends that uh, lived here were over here looking for their friends that were in the party, and they can't be found. Say, I knew about 20 people here. I didn't stay because my parents were worried and they called my fiancé and insisted that he come and drag me home and he coerced me very strongly to come just with the clothes on my back, a change of underwear. The man on the second floor, he had a drink and he told me to come on up and join the party that they were going to stay on the third floor and I told him no, this was too serious. I told him to get out. In fact, I even told him I would call the civil defense and see if I could put him out. So I called the civil defense man and I was talking to him on the police radio and the last thing he told me was to go back and get his uh, address of the next of kin so we can notify him. And he looked at me and he laughed. He's bound to be in here somewhere because all these are the houses that came from in this vicinity. They're all ready in here in this neighborhood. But mine was right there on the corner, not on any of these All you have left is your dog? That's right. I'm going to hang on to her. I'm going to hang on to her. Well, I was in the next room to him. I saw him go out. The walls just fell apart. We went out rushing with the water. Yes, I have a brother and sister, but we, we're looking for him right now. And Junior, darling, we all all right, sweetheart. I love you. Now, don't worry about us. We all right, darling. And hello to all of you. Thank the Lord. 
another one will never catch us here because if we hear of another one coming, we're leaving here and go way upstate like you asked Mama to do. So, okay, now I love y'all. So we all are right. It isn't destroyed, one man said. It's gone. A pilot flying over the area said it looked as if a giant bulldozer had scraped the countryside flat. Five years later, they were still repairing the damage wrought by Camille.